Hi, and welcome to Fun Joy Peace. It's Elena here, and I have a new meditation today. So today, we're going to focus on God's love meditation. So what does that mean? Well, when we're talking about God's love, God loves everyone. And sometimes in life, we can have a few rough patches where we don't feel loved or can act unlovely towards one another. It happens. Sometimes we are just in a bad mood. But how does God love us? He loves every single one of us. He does not discriminate. So how should we act towards one another? Just like God. Love everyone. So today we're going to focus on that and why we should love everyone. So go ahead and find a nice, comfortable, seated position. Or if you want, you can lay down. It's up to you, but just try to promise not to fall asleep. When you're nice and settled, go ahead and close your eyes and just focus on your own breath, breathing in through your nose and out of your nose. And just follow the nice, gentle rhythm of your natural breath. And as you breathe, just clear your mind of any intrusive thoughts, any thoughts that try to make you get out of this peaceful moment or make you think outside of this moment. You can get back to that later. So if you haven't, go ahead and close your eyes and feel your body start to relax completely. And if you feel a little sleepy, that's okay. In Deuteronomy 15, 7 through 8, if anyone is poor among your fellow Israelites, in any of the towns of the land the Lord your God is giving you, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward them. Rather, be open-handed open -handed, and freely lend them whatever they need. As a Christian and a follower of Jesus, we have to be soft-hearted and kind-hearted to everyone that we meet. It doesn't cost you anything to be kind. A smile here. How are you doing there? And sometimes some of our friends or our family or strangers may be in need. What would Jesus do? He would give them what they needed if he had it to give. And then in Job 6.14, anyone who withholds kindness from a friend forsakes the fear of the Almighty. With our friends, with our family, we should be kind and we should be loving because that's how Jesus would be towards us. Sometimes we also hear the saying, how would you want to be treated? Hopefully kind. Um, and hopefully you'd want someone to be very friendly towards you. In Psalm 41.1, Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. God already knows who you are and how you are. When he sees you bless other people, he remembers that, and he takes care of you as well. In Proverbs 14.31, Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker. But whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Again, God wants everyone to look out for one another. Be kind. Give, when, give whenever possible to other people who are in need. And in Proverbs 22.9, The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. 
again, that whole generosity, being kind and sharing. In Proverbs 31, 8 through 9, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. Just like you would stand up for your friends or your family, if you see someone not being treated fairly, defend them. Speak up for them. In John 15, 12 through 13, my command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Again, love one another and take care of one another. And in Hebrews thirteen sixteen. And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with, self for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. As you sit here, again, just focusing on your breath. Just kind of think about some of the things that you have done lately to be kind and loving towards other people. Did you help a stranger with the door? Were you able to help someone who was in a financial struggle or on the street corner asking for money? Were you able to help them? And if you haven't done any of these things, you could ask God now, Lord, what would you have me to do to bless somebody? Is there someone that you would like me to bless? As you continue to focus on your inhales and exhales, Go ahead and gently open your eyes. And roll your neck over to the right side. And then over to the left. And when you're ready, go ahead and start your day. Thank you for joining me for this love meditation on how we should be acting towards other people. I appreciate you taking the time to meditate with me. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, please feel free to find me at funjoypeace.com on the blog or on YouTube, funjoypeace, or excuse me, funjoypeace, or on Facebook. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you around.